we've had a, a handful of nurses from the community reach out and offer to help. And so we hope that we'll, we'll continue to get more because we need the help. A DCH Health Systems, three hospitals are struggling to keep up with COVID patients. They are also struggling with a shortage of nurses. University of Alabama nursing students are also being offered volunteer and part-time opportunities to help there at DCH treat these patients. CBS 42's Tim Reed has more on this effort to recruit nurses to help fight coronavirus. Officials at the University of Alabama tell us enrollment is up 22% here at the Capstone College of Nursing. And DCH officials are excited to hear that because they're looking for as much help as possible. DCH Health System is looking for qualified nurses. The coronavirus pandemic has put a major strain on the nursing staff at all three hospitals. It's a difficult situation. The staff is very busy. They're coming in and out of those rooms. They, they go into one room, gowned up. They come out, take the gown off. They walk to the next room, put a gown on, go into the next room. So it's, it's a very tiring process for them. DCH is offering incentives like more vacation time for their nursing staff so they can work extra shifts. They're also recruiting retired nurses and are even offering UA nursing students volunteer and part-time work opportunities. Well, I think it's a win-win if we can have a successful partnership with DCH, if we can create good learning opportunities for our students right across the street, and then they easily transition into a professional career there, and it will help fill the tremendous need for nurses in our region. Dr. Prevo tells CBS 42 News more people are showing an interest in the nursing profession. She says getting real life work experience during this pandemic is good experience and a chance to help sick patients recover. Nurses have worked overwhelmingly hard, both physically and emotionally over the past 18 months. Nurses are burnt out. They're leaving the profession faster than we can produce new ones. So we're having to make do with the nurses that we have and the nurses that we're able to encourage to come work with us on a limited basis from the community. And we continue to encourage them to do so. University of Alabama nursing students will head back to the classroom next week on August 19th. In Tuscaloosa, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.